Hello dear students. Today in this video we are going to discuss one of the most important question from circle our theorem which is from class 10. Dear students this question is asked in question number 24 in SA examination. So let's solve it. In question number 24 the question is in the given figure ABCD is a cyclic correlator. ABCD is a cyclic correlator. The side CD is produced to E. The side CD is produced to E. If AD bisects angle BDE, if AD bisects angle BDE, prove that triangle ABC is an isolated triangle. So, this means so at first let's write on given. Given number one. So, ABCD is a cyclic correlator. We are given that AB. C D is a A B C D is a cyclic cyclic quadrilateral Q U A D quadrilateral. So we are given that A B C D the figure A B C D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral means all the vertices of quadrilateral lie on the circumference of the circle. So this is in this question all the vertices A B C D they lie on the circumference of the circle so abcd is a cyclic correlator the side cd is produced to e the side cd is produced to e side cd is produced to e side cd is produced to e side cd is produced produced that means extended produced to e if ad is bisects angle bd ad ad bisects AD by 6 angle angle BDE. So we are given that AD by 6 angle BD. To prove, dear students, we are given that ABCD is a cyclic correlator. Side CD is produced to E and AD by 6 angle BD. By 6 means it divides the angle BD into equal parts which we have supposed as angle A and B in the figure to prove now according to the question we have to prove that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle to prove triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle is an isosceles triangle isosceles isosceles triangle so dear students this question is one of the most important for SC examination and it is very simple as well let's write down proof so dear students in number one we can write angle ade is equal to angle adb first we can write angle ade is equal to angle adb in the figure we have supposed the two angles ad and adb as a and b so that it will be easy to combine the reason is given given dear students we are already given that ad bisects angle bd ad bisects angle bd so we can write angle ade is equal to angle adb so this is statement number one so dear students in order to show triangle abc is an isolated triangle we have to show any one of the two angles of triangle abc equal then the triangle abc will be isolated triangle so this is now we are going to relate we are going to make link the angles of triangle abc with two equal angles a and b so this angle a we can write equal to angle abc because extra angle of a cyclic word extra angle of a cyclic word is equal to its interior opposite angle so angle ade we can write equal to angle abc angle ade angle ade is equal to we can write angle abc because we know that the exterior angle of a cyclic quad is equal to its interposed angle. Angle ADE is the extra angle of cyclic quad ABCD. And angle ABC is the interior opposite angle of ADE. So this means angle AD is called we can write angle ABC. The reason is extra angle of a cyclic quad is equal to the reason is exterior angle of a extra angle of a cyclic quad of a cyclic word is 
quad means quadrilateral is equal to is equal to its interior opposite angle its interior opposite opposite angle so this is the reason of statement number two now in statement number three so dear students now let's link angle b that means angle adb with the angles of triangle abc angle adb angle adb we can write equal to angle acb angle adb angle adb we can write equal to angle angle adb we can write equal to angle acb angle acb dear students the two angles angle adb and angle acb both are standing on the same segment ab angle adb and angle acb both they stand on the same segment ab so angles in the same segment of a circle are equal so this angle we can write equal to this angle because angles in the same segment of a circle are equal so let's write down angle adb is equal to acb adb is equal to acb the reason is angles in the same segment of a circle the reason is angles in the in the same same segment of a circle angles in the same segment of a circle or we can say the circumference angle is standing on the same arc or we can say inscribed angle of a circle so this means if two angles are on the same segment if two angles are standing on the same segment then angles in the same segment of a circle are equal dear students now we can combine statement 2 and 3 in statement 1 already we have angle ade and adb equal so ad and adb they are already equal in statement 1 ad and adb are already equal so now we can combine statement 2 and 3 ad and adb they are equal from statement 1 so now we can write a angle abc is equal to angle abc is equal to angle acb so this is from statement 2 and 3 so this means if we combine statement 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 2 3 1 2 and 3 then we get angle abc is equal to acb the lhs part are already equal in statement 1 so we can write rhs part also equal so by combining statement 1 2 and 3 we can we get angle ABC is equal to ACB. We get ABC is equal to ACB. So, dear students, now in statement, statement number 5, in this statement number 5, we can write triangle ABC is, therefore, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles, isosceles triangle. So, this is the reason is from statement 4, as two angles are equal. So, when Two angles of a triangle are equal then the triangle is an isosceles triangle so this means in a statement number four already we have shown angle abc is called acb so when two angles are equal then the triangle is an isosceles triangle so this is the proof of the onsen theorem question number 24 so this is before we end this video let's review the process we have followed to get the proof of this circle out theorem so this is in this question number 24 we are given a cyclic quadrilateral abcd abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral and the side cd is produced to e and ad is the bisector of angle bd now according to the question we have to prove that triangle abc is an isolated string so dear st students in the statement number one we can write angle ade is called adb because it is already given ad bisects angle bd because ad bisects we can write ad bisects AD bisects angle BDE. So this is already given in the question. Now, dear students, these two angles are already given. So now these two angles will link with the angles of triangle ABC. So now angle AD we can write equal to angle ABC because AD is the extra angle of cyclic quad and ABC is the inter opposite angle of cyclic quad. So dear students, angle ADE is equal to we can write ABC in the second statement and angle adb we can write equal to angle acb because they are the angles in the same segment of circle since ad and adb they are equal the lhs part are equal so we can combine the rhs part angle abc is equal to acb so from statement one two and three we get angle abc is equal to angle abc is equal to acb so this means 
when two angles of a triangle are equal then the triangle is an is an isosceles triangle hence this is the proof of the our theorem question number 24 which is frequently asked in SC examination so thank you thanks for watching this video and again we'll meet in the next next video with a new content till then bye have a nice day